So don't go out and kill the pedophile next to you. Just make sure everybody in your neighborhood knows who he is. Make sure everybody at his workplace or her workplace knows who they are. Don't hide it. Don't keep it a secret. More Webster. Let's see if we can't find something else here. Someone just a little more reputable. Yeah, on Google. <laughs> Oh, definepedophile.com. An adult who is sexually attracted to children. Synonym, pedophile. So, really, pretty boring. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Well, you know, we're going to look up paraphilia. Get a few more. Psychiatric Times, Therapy for Sexual Impulsivity, Paraphilias, Paraphiles. Let's see what they have to say. Hopefully it's something good. I will say don't ever listen to W.M. Crytest, Nigel Oilfield's um, opinion of pedophile. Just for starters, he hasn't got a goddamn clue what he's talking about. He is as retarded as every argument he has about his legalities to molesting children and how it should just be allowed for pigs like him. Again, we're looking at somebody else who can't get a real woman in his life, has never been able to get a real woman in his life. Oh, paraphiles defined as sexual impulse disorders, recurring sexual fantasies, urges and behaviors, once again, of at least six months duration, that are considered deviant with respect to cultural norms and that produce clinical significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of psycho, where are we? Psychosocial functioning. Common paraphilias described include exhibition, exhibitionism, the exposure of genitals to a stranger, pedophilia, sexual activity with a prepubescent child generally 13 years of age or younger. I think my tongue has quit on me here. Voyeurism, observing others' sexual activities. Fetishism, use of inert objects such as female armor, undergarments. Transvestic fetishism, cross-dressing, sexual sadism, inflicting suffering or humiliation, sexual masochism, being humiliated, beaten, bound, or made to suffer, and frotterism, touching, rubbing against a non-consenting person. Now, one thing I will try to explain again is that most pedophiles have engaged in a number of these different paraphilias. A pedophile who rubs the crotch through the pants of a child, that would put him in frotterism rubs his own crotch up against a child, frotterism. How many pedophiles have used threats of harm or death in order to stop a child from telling what they're, what's, what's being done to them? That would be masochism. Oh, sorry, that would be sadism. Telling a child that it's their fault, telling a child that they made this happen, Telling a child that everyone around them would look at them like they were wrong? Masochism. Don't humiliate a child because you've got a sick mind, pig. Go, like I've said, jump on a boat, float yourself down to the bottom of the ocean, big rock, gun to your head. Suggestions just go on and on and on. Plastic bags. These things are cheap, too, so don't tell me, you know, geez, I'm a homeless pedophile, I can't afford that. You just watch one of those plastic grocery bags fly by you in the wind, grab on. There's a second group of sexual impulse disorders not currently classified as paraphilias because the particular sexual behaviors affected are not considered deviant with respect to cult contemporary cultural norms. Um... This section here has to do with things like, uh, is it okay to have sex with an underage child in a country where the father feels it's okay to sell off his 12-year-old daughter because she's really no use to him? 
countries where it's written that the daughter should reach puberty, should attain her period in the home of her husband, not her father. Now, maybe in that country, it's still believed that that's acceptable, at least by some of the people. Um, unfortunately, here we're dealing with a world wide web. We are dealing with global opinions. And guess what, pig? You rape a child that is 12. You are a pedophile, child molesting, rapist, piece of scum. I don't care what country you live in. How's that? It has nothing to do with racism either, so stick it up yours. Maybe make it a big barbed one when you stick it up there, loser. Oh, there's medications. Oh, there's therapy. Oh, there's blah, blah, blah. The problem is you cannot fix a pedophile. Antiandrogens and serotonergic antidepressants are what's being used to help treat paraphiles and paraphilia related disorders. Again, 22, 45, 30, 30, 30 odd, these are more appropriate and fitting ways to treat a pedophile. Again, I'm not condoning vigilante justice. But if you are in the middle of being molested and it comes to your mind that if this is going to happen again, you want to put a stop to it. That's self-defense. You are entitled to protect yourself. All right, now I've gone over a few, a few definitions here, and I'm assuming that if you haven't got it yet, you never will. You do not have to take the clothes off of and to have sexual intercourse with a child to be a pedophile. All you have to do is be a real creep like Paul Savet. All you have to do is be a sickle pig. I hope this message got through this time. Uh, you don't agree with my opinion on paraphilia? I really don't give even the slightest crap. Take it, stuff it. My opinion on Pedophiles is in agreement with the dictionary definitions and the medical textbooks. Now, since I had a little bit of trouble here finding any of the medical ones right now, I will take the time to do that and there will be another vlog forthcoming. Don't you worry. I hate and abhor ignorance. So to all of you who support the child molester, Remember that most of the new laws in our civilized countries now state that after you have been told of the ongoing sexual abuse, should you fail to do anything to protect or provide protection for that child to stop the abuse from continuing, you are responsible. Doesn't mean you're a pedophile. It means you are a pedophile facilitating, condoning, sympathizing, whatever the hell it is. Now, if you're telling me you're not going to say anything because you're scared, what do you think that child's going through? Whatever you're going through, whatever you are scared of, cannot be even compared to what that child is going through while that piece of dirt continuously molests them. So suck it up, stiffen your backbone, stiffen your resolve, call 911 and report the pedophile you know about. Whether they're molesting you or somebody else, report them. Later, YouTube. Up yours, pedophiles.